We've got a lot of breaking news. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, President Trump finally travelled to Puerto Rico today amid criticism of his response to Hurricane Maria. 95% of the island is still without power, so to make sure the people of Puerto Rico don't miss out on his crazy tweets, Donald Trump went there to deliver them in person. <laughs> this is sad, exclamation point. That is sad, exclamation point. <laughs> Uh, he was there to help, but old habits die hard. As soon as Trump heard people speaking Spanish, he threatened to deport them all to Mexico. <laughs> uh, but he was finally there. He was ready to help. So, of course, he was on his best behavior. I'm kidding. He complained about how much money it was costing. Take a look. I hate to tell you, Puerto Rico, but you've thrown our budget a little out of whack <laughs> because we've spent a lot of money on Puerto Rico, and that's fine. <sighs> The budget is out of whack, and no one would know more about budgets being out of whack than the guy who's filed for bankruptcy six times. <laughs> I mean... There was this weird moment also in a church where some much-needed supplies were unloaded. Donald Trump took out some paper, paper towels and started to softly lob them into the crowd like he was shooting hoops. I believe we've got a photo. Look at it. Now, I don't want to say he's out of touch, but when Trump picked up the paper towels, he was like, this is fun. What are these things? <laughs> what, towels made of paper? Crazy. <laughs> uh, Trump looks awkward throwing paper towels, which is surprising, considering his son, Donald Jr., is the brawny paper towel man. <laughs> Trump also had some words of encouragement for the locals as he helped them out. Here's what he told some hurricane survivors after giving out supplies. We're going to help you out. Thank you. Have a good time. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Have a good time? It's a flood area, not a water park. <laughs> Trump's telling them to have a good time. You're the president of the United States, not a member of Cool and the Gang. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back in DC, uh, remember how during the election, the Trump family made a, a huge deal about Hillary Clinton using personal email? Well, now, officials have discovered yet another personal email account that Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump have been using for official White House business, bringing the total to three. They had three accounts. How much emailing are these two doing that you need three accounts? Pottery Barn doesn't send as much emails as these two. <laughs> They keep finding more accounts. So this is either a massive breach of protocol or Jared Kushner is just like the rest of us and can't remember his passwords. <laughs> He's like, well, was it Kushmeister81 or the Kushdog83? I go, Do you know I'll just open a new account. Um, talking of email, this was an alarming story that came out today. Apparently, a data breach that Yahoo previously said affected just a portion of their users actually affected all three billion Yahoo accounts. I know, even crazier, all three billion Yahoo email accounts belong to Jared Kushner. <laughs> but, Jared, this is serious. You guys realize what this data breach means? It means whoever hacked my Yahoo account now has access to my MySpace password. <laughs> I don't even want to think what they're going to do to my friendster. <laughs> uh, of course you're a friendster guy. <laughs> I knew you were a friendster guy. Everything about you says friendster. Yeah, yeah. Uh, finally, we had to show you this. A uh, company is making plans to introduce something called the Dad Bag. It's basically... It's a fanny pack designed to give wearers a dad bod. Uh, I'm serious. Take a look. <laughs> I mean... It's, it's a new kind of fanny pack designed to make you look like a dad. Or, as that's always been called, a regular fanny pack. Um, <laughs> but a word of advice, remember, anyone that buys this, there's a belly button on there, so if you buy one of these fanny packs, make sure to wear it on the front. <laughs> if you wear it on the back, it looks like this.